As many of you know, I love this book on productivity by Chris Bailey. I've been doing a few videos on it recently. I wanted to just kind of reiterate some things in the book that I've learned. Disconnect from productivity more often. So you'd think, okay, I want to be more productive. Why would I disconnect from it? When you take those breaks, you gain back so much more time and energy that it'll be better for you in the long run. When you take breaks from work, in general, it'll just be more beneficial to you. So say you work for an hour, take a 15 minute break. An hour, 15 minute break. You may think that this is not beneficial to you, but it really is. Trust me or trust him. I don't know. Trust somebody. I am now implementing it in my life and I agree that you take breaks, step away from something, anything. Friendships, relationships, watching TV, doing work. You take a break from it, you can appreciate things, you're more creative that way. Recall things you're grateful for. So I started doing this after reading the book. At night, before I go to bed, I journal. At the end of my journal entry, I'll write three things I'm grateful for that day and then I'll write one great thing that happened that day. Just to kind of imprint it into your memory, think about negative things, all you see is negative things. When you think about happy things and you're a more positive person, you generate more positivity and happiness in your life. Another great thing to do is break things down. So in the book, they reference video games, why they're so rewarding. Well, when you think about a video game, there's a rapid sense of milestone. You get to certain checkpoints. These little goals, they're, they're self-fulfilling. However, we don't do that in our lives. We just go from one thing to the next thing to the next thing to the next thing, trying to stay super busy. We don't give ourselves that kind of reward. Next topic, ask yourself for advice. How many of you can go to some of your friends, your family, a therapist, anybody and ask for advice? Do you ever sit back and ask yourself for advice. Most of us do not. That's something we're missing and you should really try to lean on yourself more. Which brings me to rewarding yourself. It's another great thing. Even small things. It's not like I did this certain thing so now I'm gonna give myself 50 bucks. At the end of the day your 50 bucks in the beginning is the same as like 50 bucks at the end. I mean more of just on the smaller scale. So if you've been working on this huge project at work, you know, go out to a nice dinner or just yourself. Buy a little nice dessert and reward yourself. Allow yourself time on social media to just mindlessly scroll and catch up on things. Rewarding yourself is very beneficial in the long run to all of your tasks. One of the main points I want to touch upon is allowing yourself to grow. A lot of people think that they are the person that they are, and to an extent you are, you can always grow and evolve. I've always been strong on that suit, trying to constantly evolve myself, learn about new things, help reiterate those things to other people, teach them. I guess this is part of this vlog. I'm reiterating things that I've learned onto you guys in hopes that it'll help you. So I want to read a quote out of the book. The main thing that separates successful people from unsuccessful people is whether or not they feel their intelligence and abilities are fixed. Meaning, do not stay within your comfort zone, your little box, and think, this is me. You can expand your knowledge, continue learning, read as much as you can, learn as much as you can, talk to as many people as you can, and just really begin to grow within yourself. Another great quote from it would be, they embrace obstacles as challenges to be overcome instead of seeing them as roadblocks and they see working hard as the only way of mastering a skill. Come on guys. Next topic on the list, create an accomplishment list. Really taking the time to reflect upon what you've accomplished helps you in the long run. Sometimes when we are working on all these projects at work or family life, things like that, we forget all of the things that we have done and it's really nice to kind of reflect upon that and kind of give yourself a pat on the back. And when all else fails, look at cute pictures of baby animals. I am completely serious about this. Social media has cute baby animals everywhere. It seems like a very time-wasting thing to do. I personally look at baby kangaroos. There's a sanctuary that I follow and they are just adorable. Don't take it from me. It does say that it also boosts your cognitive and motor performance by looking at cute baby animals. There was a study done that they found that cute baby animals had a positive effect on how participants manage their attention and that Viewing cute things improves subsequent performance in tasks that require behavioral careness, possibly by narrowing attentional focus. Like I said, just look at cute baby animals. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Hope you had a great day, and I hope some of this was beneficial to you. Please let me know, comment below of anything you'd like to see. Otherwise, have a great day.